Hi guys, my name is Selassie Travis. You welcome back to the channel. Today's tutorial is an update on my previous tutorial, okay? I realized I made a mistake when drafting the back pattern on my previous tutorial. I only found this out when I was about to cut this on fabric, so I knew my measurements were not adding up. So I had to go back and watch the previous video and it dawned on me where I made a mistake. And by the way, every calculations and formula I gave in the previous tutorial, they are all right, okay? But it's just the way I applied it when drafting the back pattern that was wrong. In this tutorial, I will be, you know, correcting that mistake. So by doing this, I have to start from the top. And also the difference with this tutorial and the previous one is that the length of the skirt in this tutorial will be longer, okay? So yeah, let's jump right into it. To begin, I came down half of an inch from the top of my fabric and I squared out horizontal line. Now from this line, I'm going to mark down my waist to hip and this is eight and a half inches and then I'm going to square horizontal line. This is the hip line. From the top line, I'm going to mark down my waist to knee, which is 23 inches, and then square out horizontal line. This is the knee line. Now from the top line, I'm going to mark down my waist to the full length of the skirt. This is 32 inches for me, and then I'm going to add one inch M allowance. Now on the waistline, I'm going to mark my waist divided by four plus one and quarter inches for darts. Now on the hip line, I'm going to mark my hip divided by four and subtract one inch. Okay. You can choose to subtract a minimum of, you know, half of an inch to a maximum of one inch. I think it is safer to subtract half of an inch, but it all depends on how your client's body is built. Some people has wider hips, while some people has fuller buttocks, but narrow hips, okay? So you should pay attention to these features and decide if you're going to subtract half of an inch from the front hips, or you're going to subtract one inch from the front hips, okay? It's safer to subtract half of an inch from the front hips. And whatever you subtract from the front hips will be added to the back hips, okay? Now let's move forward. On the hip line, I'm going to mark my hip divided by four, and then I'm going to subtract one inch. Now I'm going to take the measurement of what I have on the hip line and then subtract two inches and place it on the knee line. Depending on how tapered you want your skirt to be, you can choose to subtract one inch. Now I'm going to take what I have on the knee line and I'm going to subtract quarter of an inch from that measurement and place it on the bottom of my skirt. Now I'm using my straight ruler, I'm going to connect the bottom point to the point on the knee and to the point on the hips like so. Then I'm going to take my French curve and connect the waist to the hips. Right now I'm going to take the cover part of my French curve and smoothing out this point. And by the way, I added half inch seam allowance as I was imputing my measurement, okay? Next, I'm going to mark in on the waistline from center front, my nip to nip measurement, divided by two. And from this point, I'm going to square down a dart line of five and a half inches. Next, on both sides of this vertical line, I'm going to mark out my dart width of one and quarter inches. And then I'm going to connect these three points together to form the dart. I 
haven't done this i'll go ahead and cut out my pattern remember i already added half inch seam allowance to the side seam of my pattern So to draft the back pattern, I already copied all the horizontal line onto my fabric and I know just how wide my fabric should be for the back pattern so I will not be wasting fabric. To draft the back piece, I marked in from the side of my fabric my hips divided by 4 plus my seam allowance. Okay? and then i square a vertical line right across this point from the top of my fabric to the bottom of my fabric in the previous tutorial i said you bring in the front pattern and place the center front along this vertical line and copy the outline of the front pattern this is a mistake please don't do this even though the formula i gave was right the in the previous tutorial the application of it was entirely wrong if you should copy your front pattern like this you're going to have about two inches short your hip circumference is going to be two inches less than what it should be so please and please don't do this Okay, the formula to get the back hip is right, but the application of it is wrong. So I would strongly advise that you draft the back pattern directly on your fabric. Don't copy anything from the front, please. Now from this vertical line on the waistline, I'm going to mark my nip to nip measurement divided by two. And then I'm going to square down a line that is about five and a half inches long so this is going to be the dart line for the back and by the way you can make your dart at the back longer so just do what works for you okay now on both sides of this vertical line i'm going to mark my dart width of one and quarter inches and then connect this point to form the dart I'm going to mark in from the vertical line on the waistline my waist divided by four plus one and quarter inches for dart. I'm going to mark in from the vertical line on the hip line my hips divided by four and then add half inch seam allowance. Now whatever I get on my hips I'm going to subtract two inches and mark in from the vertical line on the knee line this measurement. Now whatever I have on my knee line from the vertical line, I'm going to subtract quarter of an inch from that measurement and mark it on the bottom line. Please, we're marking this measurement from the vertical line, okay? Now I'm going to connect these points together exactly the way I did on the front. Using the curvy part of my French curve, I'm going to connect the waist to the hips, like so. Now the one inch that was subtracted from the front hip, I'm going to come out on the hip line from the vertical line and mark out that one inch toward the center back. Now I'm going to come down on the vertical line from the hip line and mark down six to eight inches but i'll be using eight inches okay okay then i'm going to connect from this point on the waist to the point on the hip line like so and then i connect the hips to this point like so i'm going to blend out the sharp edge i have on the hips Following the curve of the center back, I'm going to add three quarter 
inch zip allowance, okay? Now that the back pattern is done, I'll go ahead and cut out the pattern. And remember to add your seam allowance. I already added my seam allowance when drafting the pattern, okay? So make sure you add your zip allowance and your seam allowance. Now I'm going to bring back my front pattern and come down from the waist with one inch on center front. And then I'm going to close the dart and draw a curve from the side seam to this point on the center front like so. This is going to help in reducing the SS bulge I usually have on the front parts of my skirt. So I'll go ahead and trim this off. All right, bringing back my back pattern, I'm going to place notches on all the darts of both the front and the back. And I also place notches on the side seam on the hip line. At this point, I place notches. And then I'm going to work the side seam of both the front and back together just to make sure they match. Okay, you should start working your pattern from the hip line. After working my pattern from the hip line to the waistline, I found out that my back is about quarter of an inch longer on the side seam. So I'm going to trim this off. I went ahead to cut my lining for the fabric and I made the lining one and three quarter inches shorter than the fabric. So the reason for this is because I want to have something like this after sewing. Okay, now I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and join them together and come back to show you what it looks like. Okay, now I have sewn my darts of both the front and the back. And I also sewed the dart for the lining, as you can see. And then I joined the lining at the M with right side facing right side, you know, right side of fabric facing right side of lining. And I joined the M with one quarter inches, okay? And after pressing it, I have something like this. Next, I'm going to take the front and the back and join them both at the side seam okay first of all i'm going to pin them in place and then take it to the sewing machine and run a stitch on them and after running my stitch what i did was finish the edges with my seizure after joining and testing the skirt i needed to do a little bit of fitting which is basically me coming down halfway below the hip line and the knee line on the side seam. And from this point, I came in half of an inch. And then using my French curve, I drew a curve line from the hip line passing through this point and down just below the knee line. So I made sure I had a smooth transition from this point to below the knee line okay um, you have to make this on both the front and the back pattern okay but as I've already sewn my skirt I made the necessary adjustment on it okay and for the slit I came down six and a half inches below the hip line on center back initially I did um, eight inches but I needed my slit to be longer. So I went ahead and I added my waistband. For the skirt, I used a one inch waistband and I finished off the waistband with hand stitch. And this band also has a button extension of one and three quarter inches. And then I also added invisible zipper to this skirt, okay? Because of the way I joined the line into the skirt, I have no stitch on the M of the skirt. Now to finish off the slit, I use a magic gum to, you know, glue that down. Okay. And here guys, this is what the skirt looks like. 
Well, I do hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you do, remember to leave a comment, like this video, share this video, and make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Tell me what is wrong with me. See as you didn't make me single. You put a spell on me. You're my controller. I really want to rock with you every night. My body go down for you every time. I really want to rock with you every night. Every time. Every time. I no go ever replace you. No more game I go embrace you. You know say I got it faithful. Baby.